Jenners are very innovative. We're always looking for a challenge, which is in step with what our country is known for, the highest quality cotton in the world. We're Bogachito Gin in Macon, Mississippi. I'm Aaron Litwiler, and I'm the general manager. My name is Jonathan McBride, and I'm the Jenner. We're excited here at this gin. We have the most modern pieces of equipment, the most modern controls, and the most modern practices. And we have a state-of-the-art facility. The cotton feeds into the gin. We clean the cotton, very similar to what Eli Whitney invented so many years ago. The lint goes up the lint flue and comes down into the press, where it is pressed into a 500-pound bale. That bale is then tagged, and that tag is a permanent bale ID, and it will stay with that bale for its life until it's run into a mill, or it's made into a shirt, or whatever. Moisture does affect quality of cotton. If we over dry in the cotton, will will result in fiber lengths being shortened. The technology that we have installed in the gin works to keep that moisture level where we want it to be. Many of these decisions were made by ginners. They're now controlled by computers that never miss and are quick to respond. You're not overheating and damaging, making fibers brittle. The computer can make decisions of how best to treat that cotton to get the most leaf out of it that we can and yet preserve the fibers. We're monitoring trash we have a meter that is testing every four seconds and tells us how much trash is in the cotton. That is something that you used to have to wait three or four days to find out. But now we have that information available instantly so that we got the cleanest, well-preserved fibers and lint that we can have. The American's desire is to provide the highest quality product that they can. We're proud of this gin. I want to do that one extra thing that's going to make their cotton stand out and be set apart from all other cotton.